So here's some of my magic cards. My favorite. I love the Eldrazi's. They're my favorite. This is Emrakul. She's pretty much a flying spaghetti monster. She's really cute. This is Kozlex. He's... I don't know. He's meh. He's meh. I got this Mana Crypt from... It's like a $300 card, this Mana Crypt. I bought one pack of Ravnica. I think it was Ravnica. No, 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 no. Not Ravnica. I got a random pack of something and I ended up getting it. Yeah, Emrakul is a female, and there's a lot of lore to Emrakul, actually. One of my favorite cards, one of my favorite lore cards is this card right here. So this card right here is called the Forsaken Gods. And if you, if I can show you. So see, Emrakul is in the middle. She's depicted as a beautiful angel. This one is Ulamog, and this one's Kozilek. So these two are knights. They're like bodyguards to Emrakul. And she's depicted as this gorgeous angel. But yeah, Emrakul is a female. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, she's one of my favorites. And then on my second page, I've got I've got Ulamog in every single language. -da 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 -da. We've got let's see. So this is the Infinite Gyre. This is my favorite card ever. I absolutely love um, this art. I love this art so much. Uh, I used to play Magic the Gathering since like 2011 and then I stopped when I moved to Korea because it was just too hard. So I started playing MTGA when I moved to Korea um, because you don't have to have the physical cards and I just and there wasn't a big magic scene in Korea. So yeah, it's a lot different when I was in the States any any like if I ever traveled in the USA and it was a Friday, I would always go to Friday Night Magic in every place I've ever been to. So I've been to Friday Night Magic in Chicago, in LA, in San Francisco, <laughs> in Oregon. I've been to Friday Night Magic in every place in the state that I visit and it happens to be a Friday. This is like one of my favorite things to do. I like drafting. Drafting is my favorite. Um, and then I started collecting... Just, so I don't like collecting. Um... But I started collecting these because sometimes, event, uh, occasionally, I will open a pack. So, like, this one I got from a pack of cards. And it just happened to be a really good card. Um, but yeah. Modern is... <laughs> Modern's pretty intense. I was exposed to MTG around 2010, but started playing around 2016, but only Commander. I didn't like Commander only because, um, the games would take too long. When me and my friends played Commander, it... It would take like eight hours to finish a game. It would take way too long. So for me, I got burnt out of Commander really quick. I prefer to draft because Commander takes so long. I like casual too. I like standard. And then there is a version of Commander called Teeny Leaders. Teeny Leaders I really like. So instead of having 100 cards, you have 50. And then you have a Teeny Leader that's your Commander. And it's basically a smaller version of Commander, and I really like that because the games would go by super quick. Like, faster usually than just normal Magic games. I really like Teeny Leaders. I made a black and blue Teeny Leaders deck because I hate black and blue. Um, but yeah, I for, for me personally, I didn't like Commander just because every single time I've played Commander, the games have been like 8 hours long. Like, they've been to like... The games go from like four to eight hours on average, and that's just too long for me. Um, but yeah, so we've got Ulamog in every uh, language. So this is in English. This one, oh, that one's also in English. This one's in French. I think this is Spanish. This is Japanese. This is Russian. I think this one's Italian. I could be way wrong, honestly. No, this one's French. So the one I thought was French before, maybe that's Italian? Yeah, I think that's Italian. Yeah. Italian, French, um, Korean. I got him in Korean. And then this one... I don't even know what language that's in. And then this one's Chinese. <laughs> I'm like, I straight up have no idea. Um, so these are some of my other favorite lore cards. So these ones are called Tormenting Voice. So... Oh man, I don't remember the set this this came from, but this one's Ugin. Ugin's this dragon, and both of them have been tormented by a dragon named Nicobolus. So I love the art of this one because you see them like holding their heads and screaming, and you see Nicobolus whispering into Sarkon's ear, and then you also see Nicobolus uh, whispering into Ugin's ear. 
Yeah, sorry, I'm talking about my magic cards. This card I got because it looks like my dog. My dog's a Shiba. This is a Shiba. This card looks like my name. It's called, um, Atraxa. So it kind of looks like my name. But yeah. And then, let's see. The next page, I've got my, what do you call them? I can't remember. I can't remember what these lands are called anymore. I don't remember anymore, but these are my favorite lands. These are random cards that I got from opening up packs. So I've got a Command Tower, I've got Child of Alara, I've got my Nicobolus right there. I love Nicobolus. And then, yeah, just random rare cards. <laughs> yeah, I, I stopped playing Magic the Gathering because it, like, I collect now, but I don't have a deck. I'll just play MTGA. And then these are my Pokemon cards. My favorite Pokemon is Gyarados. I also like Magikarp. And then I got this Charizard yesterday in a pack. And then I also like Mudkip and Swampert and... I forgot the middle one. <laughs> I like that Pokemon. I just... I like Mudkip the most. Mudkip's cute. But yeah, this these are my magic... These are my magic cards that I got, so my favorite is Eldrazi's. So I have a lot of Eldrazi's, mostly Ulamog, because Ulamog's my favorite Eldrazi. But I've got a few Emrakuls. I don't really care for Kozilex. He's meh. He's not very good, I feel like, in my opinion. I actually have another Emrakul right here. I'm going to take this Emrakul out and I'm going to replace Kozilex. And I'm going to put Emrakul near the other Emrakuls. So they can all hang out. I'm going to take out this Mana Crypt that I have. This one's like a $300 card that I pulled out of a pack. I bought one pack of cards. Just one pack of cards. And I got a $300 card out of it. And I was like, I'm not opening any cards ever again. Because <laughs> I'll never get that good of luck again. So I'm like, nope, not happening. Um, and then I got the special art Ulamog. He's not foil or anything, but it's a cool card. I like it. So now I've got my three Emrakuls. Uh, Spaghetti. Spaghetti monster. Spaghetti monster. And then like three pages of Emrakul. And then I'm going to put this one over here. Because this one's just a token. This is just a token that I can't get out. I think also another one of my new favorite uh, formats to play is uh, Jumpstart. I don't know if you guys have ever played Jumpstart. Actually, I'll put Kozilex here. Yeah, it's not a very big collection because I'm not really collecting for... Like, it's mostly just collecting when I buy a pack of cards and get the card I want. Um, or when I go to like a convention... If there's if they're selling magic cards, so the reason why I have so many like Emrakuls and Eldrazi's is, for example, if I go to like uh, I went to the Comic Con in what's it called London, if I go to like a Comic Con in London and they're selling magic cards, I'll be like, oh, how much for an Emrakul? And if they're like twenty five bucks, I'm like, I'll buy it. I just I just buy Emrakuls and and Ulamogs. <laughs> when you're a magic player. You, you know that thing when you're a magic player and someone's playing magic for the first time and they shuffle the deck like that and you're like... <gasps> um, so I went and I played Friday Night Magic in a, in a town in Oregon. And apparently this little small town in Oregon, they only play Legacy. Which blows my mind because it's a very small little town in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. But they only play Legacy. And um, I went into the magic shop. And you know how they, like, have in the display cases the magic cards? Inside the display case, they had almost all of the Power 9. And I was like, is that a real Mox? Um, what Mox was it? I can't remember. It was one of the Moxes. And I was like, is that a real Mox card? And the guy takes it out and he's like, yup. And just starts bending it because he did the bend test to prove that it's real. But just seeing, uh, I think it was Mox Diamond, yeah. Just seeing um, somebody bend a, like, $20,000 magic card made me, like, <laughs> made me just die inside. I'm like, no, stop that. Don't do that. But, yeah, those are my magic cards.